Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. So, unfortunately, and I'm sorry for my beeping. It's my, obviously it's my smoke detector and we haven't gone out there to change the battery. So, excuse that. But, this is the second time I'm filming this video. I filmed it and then I deleted it. So, as I was filming another video, which I'm going to have to film that again, um... My memory card got full. I went to start deleting stuff and I deleted this freaking video. So, anyways, um, that's fine. I may, I may, I rambled a little bit last time, so maybe I'll get to the point, get it right. Let's get it together. But let's get with this color, lip color, first of all. It's giving me fall vibes. I got it in my Ipsy bag just now. Let me show you. I do want to get back into some beauty videos, not just weight loss related, but this is a plum color by this company called Larissi, which I love. Um, if you guys don't know, my my like name is Yuradi, so anything kind of different and exotic, I love. Like I just told this one of my Instagram friends, her daughter's name is Yuritzi, I just told her how much I love it, and then to get a lip color the next day with the name Larissi, I was just like, that's great. <laughs> so... Anyways, let's get right to it. So, the first thing I like to talk about is my stats. So, I broke my stall. You guys already know. I kind of broke it last week, but I didn't. I just kind of broke even, per se, given my weight. So, I weighed in today at 238 pounds. Who's hype? I'm hype. So, that gives me a weight loss of 31 pounds starting from my pre-op diet so that's kind of the weight that from before my pre-op diet so that's the weight i've been going on which is 269 pounds because i was pretty consistent at 269 for the last couple of months um you know given up to surgery so that's the weight i like to go off of so 269 pounds so 31 pound weight loss Let's talk about this stall that I had. So, and I've talked about this with some other BSGers. I don't follow any males, so I don't know if they go through this as well. But as is females that I've noticed, we all go through, the, through this dreaded three-week, four-week stall. So, in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm no medical professional, but this is our bodies leading up to that time of the month. It only makes sense now. So obviously, you know, about a month out after surgery, you get your period. That's it. Every month we get our period. So I think that's our bloating, um, water retention, all of that stuff in preparation of your period. Because if you guys follow my videos, you know that... I you know, I was at 244 for two weeks, and then now I did a six pound weight loss. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of like it came back twofold because get, my surgeon did say that now I'll start losing about three to four pounds a week, sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's about average. So, to lose six pounds in one week makes sense you get rid of all that water retention, and then you kind of just get back on track with life, right? So, um, yeah, so, um, I haven't really, you know, food-wise, there isn't really anything different to report. If you do follow me on Instagram, though, you would know that I've been starting my days a little bit differently. So, since my period and the bloat, now, you know, before, I really didn't know what bloat kind of felt like, but now I do. So, to kind of combat bloat... That's something that right there is something else I want to talk about. But I start my day with water. I start with a big bottle of water that keeps me accountable. Um, but anyways, I start with hot tea and water. Um, to be honest, if you follow me on Instagram again, I'll have my name below. But and I'm sorry if I bore that out, but I do share a lot of my meals, a lot of my journey on Instagram. You know, it's right there. And kind of real time but I start my days with hot tea and water and that really helps with bloating that helps with that heavy feeling I've been having after breakfast which breakfast I may have to switch it up to something else maybe just some fruit or you know some days I have a fruit smoothie but most days last week I started with this tea um, this herbal tea my favorite is the chamomile and then the honey 
vanilla chamomile that i think that one is really my favorite out of all these but peppermint is really good um lemon is always good and then sleepy time i haven't really dabbled in because i haven't really needed it for sleepy time um but i also have this other one that i want to dabble in i drank this a lot before surgery but i haven't really had it after it's just a fruit one different fruit flavors i'm even thinking of maybe trying to brew it and then make it cold so you know that has really helped like most mornings i've been starting my day with rice cake and peanut butter and that actually was feeling kind of heavy and kind of like what did i put in my belly so um i think starting my day a little bit lighter with fruit and tea and stuff like that is, is really helpful um and then maybe rice cake first like a half a rice cake and peanut butter for a snack and then a light lunch like a salad or some leftover usually i have leftovers from the night before either baked chicken or baked fish with vegetables and and yeah that's what i've been having so um so something else that i found that i have been starting the mornings when i need it today is it's not one of them but my kids are at their grandmother's house today which thank you thank you thank you thank you for taking them giving me a little bit of a break so i did face masks bubble baths and i started my day with coffee kill me but it is a protein coffee so um i found this at walmart and i was just like come to me if there's any way for me to add protein i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm doing it um i did pick up some stevia to go with anything i haven't added it to my tea because i've been wanting just like nice calming nothing sweet in the morning so that's that um so i just put it over ice So let's go over the stats for this. So it has four servings in this big bottle. Um, it's a 12 ounce serving and it comes with, and it has 16 grams of protein, if you can see that. 16 grams of protein, 180, cal 180 calories, which I mean, this is kind of, if I have it, it replaces my breakfast. So I guess it's okay, right? And plus I don't have 12 ounces. I may have six ounces, so um, so what's that? Whatever half a 16 is. Eight, eight ounces of protein, which, eight grams of protein, which is better than nothing that I've been having most mornings. Um, so yeah, I just, I wish, I wish we could take protein in a pill form. Uh, when I was in Walmart, the, my, the sole reason I went to Walmart was to find um, protein powder, um, flavorless protein powder, but I just couldn't find any. So it was all vanilla or chocolate, just some kind of flavor. So I'm glad I found that. And I did pick up some frozen fruit for smoothies, this, that, and a third. So, um, yeah, let's talk about, so food wise, I haven't really changed anything. Um, if I eat anything, it's on Instagram, pretty standard, regular stuff, baked fish, baked chicken, vegetables. Um, I do some garden meals, which does, which, which they do vegetarian, right? The orange chicken is life. Like, if you have, like, a Chinese food craving, get the orange chicken from Gardein. I'll put a screenshot of it here. It's so good. My kids like it, and, you know, they don't even know it's vegetarian, or my older kids do, but they love it so that is definitely an option and try everything else too with the garden if you want to get low calorie vegetarian high protein type of meals that's that brand is so good i think they do vegetarian right um there's some burgers that i like from them it's one that has corn in it i have to find it again um their beefless burgers are good i haven't tried like their ground beef but i want to but the the orange chicken is my favorite chicken the chicken strips is really good um so yeah that's good um what else okay so i want to talk to you a little bit about me yes let's talk about me um so now that i'm in week five i'm feeling myself y'all i'm so feeling myself now that i'm in the 230s now i'm like oh i can see you 220s I can see you 200s, bye bye 200s. You know what I mean? Like, I'm really excited. So, um, I think my confidence level is up here. And to be honest, with the gate, with the weight gain, I notice now, anyway, that I kind of like stopped taking care of me. Um, 
I really wasn't doing like all the girly stuff I would do my you know paint my like toenails or um do face masks and make sure my face is nice and scrubbed and clean and soft and supple I just wasn't doing any of that so um drinking so much water really helps your skin clear up I you know um so I started noticing my skin getting clearer okay so my camera overheated from all the filming I've been doing and because I deleted shit and then did, had to refilm it but as I was saying so I really been feeling myself y'all no lie so I've been just like being more about me which is what this whole journey is about it's not I didn't do this for anyone else I did this to feel good about me so I've been doing like my face masks again like making sure my face is so beautiful on my skin just making sure like I'm really like making, like buying like the most like luxur not luxurious because we don't got money for that but you know just making sure that I'm just like just taking good care of myself inside and out so that's the whole thing like um I don't know I don't want to say I'm vain because I'm because I'm not but I did just want to feel good about myself and just get back to just, you know, I was, you know, just and me not being comfortable in my own skin was really leading to depression and my anxiety issues. And I just didn't want to go, past, you know, I just, I was tired of going down that path. So I, I really want to say that since having the surgery, since really preparing for the surgery, I haven't had like those bouts really bad of depression, anxiety and stuff. And I'm gonna let I'm I'm gonna ask my husband to get on camera with me and kind of go over what he feels as though if he feels as though there's a difference in my confidence and our relationship, which I think I think there has. Um we've just been amazing lately. It doesn't have to deal with me being down and me being in my own thoughts about stuff. So um yeah, that that's that's all I really had to say. Um, so I do want to show, I do want to share with you guys, um, cause I have been getting a few questions about scarring. Um, I am going to show you guys, you know, so excuse me since, you know, I'm typically very, mo you know, very modest. Um, but I do want to share my journey with you guys. So I do want to show you my scars. Um, to be honest, I really don't scar. Um, I've had three C-sections and you really can't find or see the scars so I'm pretty sure these would be pretty minimal you know as the months go along um I really can't even find all of them now there's like one you'll see that's pretty significant but that's what they told me would be significant because it's like where basically they pull the stomach out of the part they cut out so they cut it you know they have to pull this piece of your stomach out of this little tiny like incision so that's the one that's most significant and I'll show you guys. Um, I have one actually like through the top of my belly button, which I've seen most people's like a little bit above, but maybe since I have such a small torso, they had to go through my belly button, um, which that one was kind of sore um, for a while, which was weird. Maybe that's where they first, um, you know, started the surgery at. Um, but other than that, I have two, in I think I have four or five in all. I, I can't even find them all. I think I could only find four. Um, but two of them were like the most like pain wise, the most uncomfortable. But that's it. So uh, I'm going to show you guys, kind of show you what I look like now just for documentation purposes. Um, but yeah, I guess let's go. So my main thing about, so okay. So first of all, this shirt, I bought it. Uh, back in March it is now August the end of August almost September and I'm just now fitting it so as you can see it has no no give to it so um, it's like basically like a, a denim shirt I guess so I couldn't fit it point blank I couldn't fit it. I couldn't fit my arms through so it's still a little tight on my arms but I can fit it I can fit it and it feels great so um where I see the majority of my weight loss is here in my waist like like I didn't I was kind of bulging here before um so you can see I still have obviously I still have some belly I'm still 200 and almost 40 pounds but it's gone down it was like 
Um, but yeah, my waist is where I see it the most. I did lose some boobage, so I have space in my bra now. Um, like, that's all like space where it was all like really in there, which is fine. My bra still fits, but I just, you know, wanted to share that. So, um, as far as my scars, so I have this one, I have this one. Um, this one so this one was my most painful one if I touch it kind of hard it still is painful um, and then I had one here which you really can't see anymore and then this one so um, yeah so they're really like this one like I said is the most significant one like this one is always gonna be under my bra and boobs this one I feel like is going to be gone in no time. This one is going to be gone. And then my belly button one really doesn't look like anything. It looks like I had my belly button pierced. So, yeah. So, it's a little bit. You know, I had three kids. My last pregnancy was a pair of big old, big old twins. So, I do have stretch marks, which I don't care. They're for carrying my babies. But, yeah. This is the one that's probably... if. If it stays, it'll probably not show up as much, but this is the only one. But I really don't scar, so, yeah, so, this is me, the shirt, like, I'm, like, so excited to be able to wear it. So let me just show you guys a little better. So yeah, I've gotten questions of the camera that I use. I use a Sony A5100 to film the shirt. Like even these pants, like these pants, I've worn them before, but they were like they were like stretched out and like they would like cut into my stomach, which they don't anymore. They just fit like they're supposed to fit they're from boohoo if it's still available i will link it this shirt i got it from forman mills um like i said it was months ago so i doubt you could find it but forman mills is my jam it's like eight bucks um but yes i'm really feeling it like i don't know let's see if i can zoom y'all in So yes. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this here. Um, I really don't have much more of an update for you guys except for, girl, I'm feeling myself. And I'm so grateful for this journey. I'm going to see if my husband will come on camera with me maybe tomorrow. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so that's all I really had to say. Yeah. Bye, guys.